hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm juliana and in today's video i'm going to show you a book haul i have one two three four five six seven books some arrived uh, in my bookshelves recently others i had here uh, previously but i didn't show you in a book haul so I'm taking the opportunity to put them here and I'm going to present them to you and talk a bit about, about them uh, if I know anything about them. I read some synopsis so I could um, talk with you about it and yeah, let's do it. So the first book that I have here is Amok by Stephen Zweig. So I think this is a book about a voyage. We have a protagonist and the subtitle of this book, at least in my Portuguese edition, in this one, is The Crazy of Malaysia. So I su I'm supposing this is a voyage to Malaysia. Um, I read the synopsis, but I didn't understand it so well. It's something of a voyage, but I'm not really sure what it is about. What I know that is that this is a novella. This, at least in this edition, this has 200 pages. So it's a short book. And I never read anything by Stefan Zweig. I, have, I also have his bi autobiography. The World of Yesterday, and I'm really eager to read that. I heard so many good things about this author. They say he writes so beautifully, and well, I'm really curious to read some work by him. Then we have Confessions of a Mask by Yukio Mishima. So what I know about this book is that this is about a boy who has feelings for other boys but is kind of repressing that feelings and is, he began uh, a courtship uh, um, courtship a girl but that took him to exacerbate his feelings for boys and he's in a time where War in Japan is imminent, so he has to conciliate his own personal and emotional um, life with what is happening in his country. I also never read anything by Yuki Mishima. I also heard so many good things about this author. I never read any book of Japanese literature. Literature? I'm sorry. I butcher that word every time. <laughs> um, I never read anything by uh, of Japanese literature, but um, I heard uh, uh, mostly about this author and Aruki Murakami. Those are the main authors that I hear about. I also have books uh, by Aruki Murakami, but I never read them. They are waiting for me. And this one is one of them. Then we have The Sorrows of Young Werther. Werther? Werther. I think W with v, v, right? So, The Sorrows of Young Werther. So, what I know about this book is that uh, we have a protagonist. Uh, a man or a young man and he's enamored by Charlotte but Charlotte is dating a friend of his and uh, of Werther and Werther gets along with him but not so well so he has mixed feelings about that particular friend but you know he's dealing with his feelings and his emotions for this girl 
and I don't um, know if the feelings are reciprocated so if she is dating um, another young man but she likes Werther I don't know that so I have to read to know but yeah something about that I never oh I never said who is who, who this book was from so this is from Goth I don't know how to pronounce it Goth mm. Good. Jo Joanne Wolfgang von Goth Goth right please um, illuminate me in the comments so yeah then we have the prince by Niccolo Machiavelli so what I know about this is that he wrote this book for a king if I'm not mistaken this is like something similar to an open letter um, I think this is a gathering of advices how to rule a king or a prince maybe right maybe a prince Yeah, a classic treaty about politics and the art of ruling. So, yeah, I don't know much about this one. I never read anything by Brian Machiavelli. I heard so many things about this author. Um, and I was curious, so that's why I bought the book. And yeah, we just have to wait and see when I read it. And maybe I bring a video to the channel. Then we have Freakonomics by Stephen Levitt and Stephen Dubner. So I don't know much about this. What I can understand, of course, this is about economy. And I think they take things of of day to day, examples of day to day life, and they transpose for the economy field. And they make, because what I understand about this book is that this is really accessible. This is for uh, people who don't know much about economy or how it works or what it is. So this is um, people like me, <laughs> right? Um, and I was really curious about this book. I read, so the book that I read is called Thinking. Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. So that book is not so much about economy in itself. It's more about how we think and the process or in our brain that is responsible for our decisions. Uh, but it talks a little bit about how we perceive some um, situations in our life. And so it talks a little bit about economy, but not so much. But I was really interested to know more about it or read more books about the subject or surrounding the subject. And I saw this one and I like books that are accessible and they are easy to read and easy to understand. So I thought this was a good choice. So let's wait and see. Then we have The God of Small Things by Arundhati Roy. So this is a Indian, Indian, right? Author. I'm, I don't know much. Um, this is a recent acqu acquisition. Um, I saw this one in a video of a booktuber and it sparkled my curiosity. I love the title, so that's why I bought it. This was three euros, so you could imagine this was a bargain. And I'm supposing this is a gathering of texts of the author, but I don't know much about the book. If you have read it, please let me know more or less what it's about. Um, 
but I'm supposing this is gatherings of texts by her. But yeah, that's all I know. Then I have um, uh, antho a poetic anthology. So this is, this was gathered by a Portuguese translator. So this book doesn't exist in other countries, I suppose, but this is uh, selected poems by Adonis. I also saw this in uh, Instagram of, uh, yeah, I think it was on Instagram. Um, this is a Syrian author and I'm determined to read more poetry, so that's why I invested in this book. I want to know more authors and authors from other nationalities, uh, not uh, only Portuguese. So the title in Portuguese is something like The Rainbow of Instant, Poetic Anthology. So yeah, I'm really curious to dive in and see what this author is all about. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so this is my book haul. Uh, let me know if you have read any of the books that I shown here. And if yes, what was your reading experience? If you enjoyed it, if you took something for your, from your reading. If you know more about any of the books that I talk about here, pl please share in the comments. And yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Leave a like, it helps a lot to the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have